Welcome to the Mastery Skills Airway Training for Pre-Oxygenation and Basic Airway Management video. The aim of the Mastery Program is for you to be competent to perform safe and successful procedures for your patients via a combination of supervised, simulated and real-life clinical practice. Before moving on to the video, here is a visual reminder of the Mastery Program Procedural Skill Competency Pathway. You should watch this video and read the information pack before proceeding to the simulation session held in clinical skills. Patient consent. Inform the patient that you are going to manage their airway during anesthesia. This can improve patient anxiety and increase cooperation. You should have performed a check of the anesthetic machine before you start, ensuring that the suction is connected and in working order. The necessary equipment at this stage includes different size of oropharyngeal airway, appropriately sized face mask, HME filter and connection to the anaesthetic circuit or an ambu bag. Ensure that IV access is working and monitoring in place. You should have ECG, SATs monitor, non-invasive blood pressure and capnography as minimum. Ensure capnography has been set up and ready to use. Confirm that the APL valve is open to allow the patient to breathe spontaneously with little resistance. Patient and clinician preparation. Ensure that the anaesthetic assistant is prepared and perform a WHO sign-in. Check that your supervisor is available. Discuss the airway plan with both your assistant and supervisor and confirm roles in an unanticipated difficulty, including who should call for help if required. Pre-oxygenation. Assemble the face mask, HME filter and circuit. Attach the capnography sampling line to the assembled circuit. Ensure that the initial movements in positioning and holding the mask are gentle to minimise patient anxiety. Turn on the oxygen to 6 to 8 litres per minute. Gently place the mask on the patient's face ensuring comfort and avoiding compression of the eyes and soft tissues. Make a C shape with your index finger and thumb to hold the mask, with your remaining three fingers placed on the bony structure of the patient's jaw rather than compressing submandibular soft tissue. Avoid pressing the mask into the patient's face, as this is not only uncomfortable, but a poor technique. Gently pull the face up into the mask and make subtle adjustments with different hand positions to provide a good seal. You can confirm adequate seal by several methods. If you feel an air leak, make minor adjustments to the position of the mask to reduce the leak. Visualise the bag inflating and deflating with respiration and confirm the quality of the seal with a square wave capnography trace. Finally, pre oxygenate for approximately 3 minutes or until the end tidal oxygen level is greater than 80%. Basic airway management. Once the patient loses consciousness, perform a head tilt chin lift manoeuvre to open their airway. Once again, avoid compression of the eyes and soft tissues. If respiration is preserved, signs of a clear airway should be sought, including mask misting, smooth respiratory mechanics, and square wave capnography. If apneic, ventilate the patient by closing the APL valve and gently squeezing the bag as required to provide positive pressure ventilation. Use either one or both hands to achieve a good seal. You may require additional manoeuvres like jaw thrust or the use of adjuncts such as the oropharyngeal airway. Avoid excessive pressure or rapid ventilation as this may cause barotrauma and insufflation of the stomach with air which increases risk of aspiration. Continuously assess for adequate chest movement, absence of leak and presence of capnography trace to ensure airway patency until a more definitive airway is secured if this is planned. Post-procedure. Documentation of basic airway management is vital, including information regarding both anticipated and unanticipated difficulties, one or two hand technique, and the need for airway adjuncts.